delighted to have the Minister with us today to officially open the summer farm. The hospital is expected to get nearly 20% of its energy from the solar farm. Through the summer months, it will provide a large proportion of the energy required. But even in the winter months, we've already achieved 55 hours where we haven't required any energy from the national grid. Okay, so it's really lovely to be here at the uh, first solar farm to be run by a health board in Wales, uh, making a really significant contribution to the health board finances as well as to their decarbonisation plan. So it's saving them around half a million pounds a year already, a project which an enormous partnership of people across Wales has come together. The partnership has been particularly supported by the Welsh Government Energy Service Programme, which is a programme that's been making an impact across Wales for some time. So we're supporting the collective ambition of the public sector to decarbonise by 2030, and this is a brilliant example here today. This project demonstrates the commitment and ambition of both Swansea Bay University Health Board and Welsh Government to meet the net zero targets. Through enhancement of their energy infrastructure, Swansea Bay University Health Board have been able to maintain the highest levels of resilience while significantly improving efficiency and harnessing renewable technology to create a true 21st century energy solution.